Hello and welcome to the Simplifiers Podcast. Today's bonus episode is another one of my super thoughts of the day. When life is go, 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 these super short mini episodes are a quick burst of inspiration to help you spark new ideas, new ways of thinking, or simply challenge old beliefs that you might have. It's time to get back to basics and simplify your life. And today's topic is geared specifically for those with children, no matter the age. So today's super thought of the day is this. Have you heard one of the hot topic buzzwords these days is emotional intelligence. Oxford Dictionary defines it as this, the capacity to be aware of, control, and express one's emotions and to handle interpersonal relationships judiciously and empathetically. Now, breaking that down into simple terms, basically, it's how you understand and process your feelings and better understand how other people process their own. It all comes down to interpersonal and communication skills. Now, as a parent of two littles under the age of 10 myself, I see my own kids grappling and growing and trying to figure out this stuff too. They feel big, big, big emotions like excitement and anger, frustration, or joy, sadness, and disappointment. You name it. It's the high, high highs and the super low, low lows, and sometimes within an hour of each other, right? And most times it's totally amplified to like 11, right? So my question for you is this. What are you doing to help guide your children simply towards building their own emotional intelligence while they're still little? You know, the more and more I work with my coaching clients, the more and more I realize a lot of the limiting beliefs that hold people back from achieving greatness right now is because of negative, deep-rooted stories they bought into at a very early age. Things like, I'm not very smart. Oh, I'm not creative. I could never do that. That is not sensible. If I do that and fail, everyone is going to laugh at me. I don't deserve that. Like, it really breaks my heart, you guys, when I hear people say that about themselves. It's all lies, like vicious, vicious lies, friends. So I wanted to share a little secret that has helped my family that's truly brought us closer together and helped our children grow into their own emotional intelligence over time. We have a simple dinnertime ritual every single night. At the dinner table, we like to ask these three questions. One, what was the best thing that happened to you today? Two, what was the worst thing that happened? And this one new question we've started to weave into conversations is this. What's one thing you failed gloriously at but tried nonetheless? pause. Let your child answer in their own timing. Give them space to think and formulate the words. Most importantly, don't answer the question for them. This is really super important. Also, keep all cell phones and electronic devices, the TV, everything off during dinner. It's so hard. Trust me. I know. I was raised in a family household in the 80s where we sat at TV trays and watched MacGyver on TV. Yeah, I totally know. But it gives them undivided attention and more importantly, eye contact. So they truly know you're listening and you care about what they say. The third question, in my opinion, is the most important one, without a doubt. When kids are given permission to talk about their failures and their blunders in such a safe environment, it sets them up for seeing failure as no big deal. It's a thing that happens in life when you get to learn something new. And that, my friends, helps them grow into being amazing adults later down the line. So you ask, what did you learn from that? And do it in a non-judgy, non-confrontational, I told you so kind of way, which is so easy. It's such a trap, right? You want to be like that, but don't. Instead, do it as if you're talking to your very best girlfriend, someone whom you absolutely adore. Be gentle with your tone of voice. Be kind with your eyes and genuine with your question. Your kids, I promise you, it doesn't matter if they're 4 or 14 or 44 years old, they'll totally appreciate how present you are for them in this moment of vulnerability. After all, you, you as the parent, you're the ultimate role model for emotional intelligence for them. 
They're watching and they're learning from you. And just an aside, does this work every night in our household? Heck no. We are normal, everyday, super messy people just like you. So don't get too hard on yourself if the first time you try this technique, it fails gloriously for you. It's okay. Give yourself and your sweet family a little bit of grace and try, try again. You can do this. I totally believe in you. Now, if this thought of the day inspired you, snap a photo of you doing the thing and send it to me via Instagram. Just tag the simplifiers and I'll be your virtual accountability buddy in your quest to simplify your life. Woohoo! We have received another five-star review on Apple Podcasts. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Beastly Boots. I love that name. It's great. They wrote, done is better than perfect. I love this woman, Mary Baird Wilcock. You and your guests inspire me to take baby steps to get one step closer to the goal. Give this podcast a listen. It's a gold mine of tips and advice. Simple steps to get you on your way. Thank you so much for this glowing review, Beastly Boots, and I'm so glad that you love what we're doing here. We love serving you. If you want to plug in with other simplifiers just like this person who listens to our podcast, hey, why don't you join our free online community, The Super Insiders? Here you'll find more tips, tricks, freebies, and more importantly, real-life connection with others just like you who want to simplify their life. And hey, it's all free just for you. So go to thesimplifiers.com forward slash super. That's thesimplifiers.com forward slash super to join our free online community or just click the link in the show notes to join us on the inside. And as always, keep things simple. 